What it do, YouTube? I am that guy, Hop Hot News Hero. Welcome back to the channel, and today I'm bringing you a dope ass leather face bill for the Texas Chainsaw Massacre game. But before I jump into that, do me a huge favor hit that like button and also hit that su subscribe button as well. I cannot grow my channel without y'all, man. I really appreciate y'all. Thank y'all. So without further ado, let's jump into this. Now, the first thing we're going to take a look at is this maim ability. You want to make sure your tree is looking exactly like this. You want to have the level 1 chainsaw that can be used up to 10% more before stalling. The next one, level 2, 20% more. And then what you want to do is you want to take a left up here to the corner. Uh, you want to make sure that uh, reduced chainsaw overheat reduces the chance of overheat from excessive revving by 30%. This is a main ability that Leatherface needs to actually pull this off. He really needs this. So your chainsaw does not overheat. All right. Next, you want to make sure you have these skills. The feral skill level three, your savagery is increased by seven. This means that you'll be doing more damage per hit. In that one hit, you're going to be doing a lot of damn damage. I'm telling you, believe me, I got proof. Next, you want to have big swings at level three. Attack damage is increased by 15%, but stamina consumption tied to attacks is 200% more costly. This is the main deal right here, the big swings. You got to have big swings. Next, you want to have hysterical strength. Yes, I know mine is at level two, and I'm still working on it. I actually just got this skill the other day because I was I don't I don't I was blind to it. I could not see it. But uh, you want to make sure when below 15% stamina, you deal 15% more damage. Level three is when below 15% stamina, you deal 20% more damage. This is a must-have right here too. Uh, this has changed some stuff. This has changed some stuff in my games for real. Then for the grandpa perk, you want to have swinging for the fences. Reduce stamina consumption on melee attacks by 20%. This is a must-have as well. This is a must-have. Next, we got the attributes. I have my savagery maxed out. I have my blood harvesting at 25 because, you know, Leatherface not really going to pick up blood unless you're not, like, bored or you just want the XP. But right now currently my max for my blood is at 100 so that's good enough for me and my endurance is maxed out as well because i gotta rev that chainsaw up and while i'm revving the chainsaw up i'm restoring my stamina too so i'm really not running out of stamina at all so i love it next i'm going to show you guys my skill tree build so you can know where to go and where to find this so on the skill tree you want to go left you want to make sure you go left go left then you go down, you see the chicken, the animal farm. Then you see the feral savagery perk. You want to go down, swing it for the fences. is right up under that. And then you want to go up, big swings is to the right. And you want to keep going up to the, stay on the left. Go up, savagery, another perk right there. Another grandpa perk. Cycle charge that comes in handy too. I don't really need that though. Then you want to keep going up. Hysterical strength. There you go. Let me let me zoom out so y'all can see it. Straight to the left. Straight to the left. But, yep, that's it for this video. Appreciate y'all. Thank you for watching this long. Uh, have fun with the game. Uh, hit that like. Also, subscribe. You'll help me out in the algorithm to get my videos out there. I appreciate y'all. Thank you. Peace. I know how to flex, I am a 
this shit boosting my cardio. Huh? Pop a mushroom, Super Mario. Yeah. All of my enemies, secretly enemies, they want to beat me like water. Feels. Oh